I got a bad desire Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Can you do two little things that I do? I can take it higher. One of the most frustrating things that can happen when you're processing firewood, cutting timber down for building, whatever, is when a tree hangs up in another. It's very difficult to deal with and it can be very dangerous. Oftentimes guys will just leave them uh, waiting for a storm to come and some wind to kick up and to eventually take them down. However, if you uh, are going to be spending time in that area or you have children running around, this is not something you want to leave uh, standing like this. It can come down and crush someone at any time. I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to deal with this situation. If you don't have access to any uh, power equipment like uh, heavy equipment, dozers, or winches using a couple sticks and uh, a standard hank of rope. One piece of equipment that you should always have with you in all your vehicles, whether you're out hunting on your quads or uh, in your truck, is a good piece of static rope. There's two types of rope primarily uh, when it comes to stretch. They're static and dynamic. Static rope is rope that doesn't have any stretch in it. That's the rope you're going to find uh, for rappelling. You don't want that stretch in there. Or just the opposite uh, for climbing, or you might be facing a fall on a rope, you want a dynamic rope, a rope that has a lot of stretch in it, more, more uh, will, will uh, break your fall easier. But for most tax, tasks like we're doing today, falling and using it for pulling out vehicles or quads uh, or pulling timber or stumps, you want a good heavy static line. 100 feet minimum. 50 meter is best. Uh, you can find a lot of hanks that will come in 50 meter. That's roughly equivalent to 165 feet. So with a good static 100, 100 foot rope here, I've cut two sections of ponderosa pine about four inches in diameter and roughly between four to five feet long. And I'll show you how you can, with these three components here, you can basically pull just about anything. Only thing that limits your uh, pulling strength is the, is the tensile strength of your rope. First place we want to start is we want to find a good solid anchor that's completely opposed uh, to, the, to the load that we want to pull and within the distance of our rope, obviously. So we want this to be really strong. We don't want this to, to there any, be any risk of this thing pulling, pulling over on top of us. So avoid anything that's a dead snag or anything that's suspect. So a large green tree like this is just about ideal. A rope uh, anchored at both ends here, or we have our anchor set on the big tree. Here we've got our two poles. And then we've got what we want to pull there, which is our hanging tree, making sure that we're hooking it as far down, close to the bottom as possible. And the same goes for the anchor. So let's go ahead and set up our, uh, our winch. So here we have the rope coming from the big anchor. We're going to go under the first one. Bring this log, second log over. We're going to cross it just like that and we're going to pull it tight. Now, using the logs, we're going to start winding the rope. And what we're looking for is that our, this is coming from our, uh, our load, the tree that we want to pull, is we want to wind this around this pole, not crossing over, but keeping a nice even wind, working this way up the pole. And we're going to alternate and keep these, this, these ropes nice and dressed until we get a little bit of tension on the line. Now our rope is starting to become taut, and as you can see here, I'm winding this up this pole and keeping nice and keeping it uh, from going overlapping, and then we'll just continue to work that until the rope starts moving the load. So if you're working by yourself, you may find 
that this pull here wants to spring up on you. So using a piece of paracord or just your belt, you can use it to secure this and keep it from wanting to flop on you. very careful and take your time with this. There's a lot of load on this rope and these logs can flip out and hurt you, hit you in the head. So just kind of be mindful and take your time. Be careful. So that's it. As you can see, that can be done with one person. It's a little bit easier. It's actually quite a bit easier with two because you have one person on each end of the, of the levers or the logs and you don't have to go back and forth tying it down or uh, being sure it doesn't flip back on you, but it is possible. There was uh, no way I could have ever got this log or this tree, this hanging tree away from that one uh, without this mechanical advantage. And just think of how many possibilities um, uh, you could, in how many situations you could use this. Whether it was pulling a, a vehicle out of the stuck mud or, or a quad, or even uh, removing small stumps, moving rocks, moving uh, logs that obstruct a, a path if you don't have a saw. Uh, it's just limitless uh, what you can do with this, and it's, uh, it's a good skill. So. Uh, get yourself a piece of rope and go out and practice this a couple times so and tuck that away in your in your arsenal of skills uh, that it may come in handy someday so that's it happy thanksgiving and we'll see you on the next video and i do i can take you hard Maybe one out of ten times, maybe less, but as you can see right there, I'm not filing anything.